Welcome back to Water Park Rangers Let's Play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the last episode, we went through Gnome Tossing Hell, and in this episode, we are going to continue with Neville's mini games and the last mini game, which is racing. But first off, I'm going to go and head over here because there's an extra, which I never noticed, the treasure chest right there, which is hidden in plain sight, sort of. Um, I only learned about it recently. Since we're doing 100%, we need the wizard card that it has. Uh, there's no other way to get it because you can always get it here. Uh, whenever it's day, and you can send you. So we're just gonna burn off the web and take whatever's inside. You have to walk carefully, otherwise it'll load you back at Hogwarts' main entrance. Number 53. Free to catch love. Charm your own cheese, eh, Gromit? And I'm gonna fly back over there. Okay, now we're gonna take on racing, the last of the games. Um, there are many, 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 many racing matches we have to do uh, to catch up with all the days we've missed. Oh, this is our first race. It'll cost five beans. They start off very cheap, but I think by the end it costs like 50 beans. So each race will get successively more expensive. Um, I'm just going to show you this as an example of how a race works in this game. You basically just hold down the A to fly around, and just go through every ring, and you gradually build up speed, and keep going until you pass the green ring at the end. And you have to be ahead of the other person once you do that in order to win and get the wizard card for each race. And in this way, you will win many wizard cards. That's all there is to it. There's really no other trick. Just don't crash into towers. Stay on the path. It's much easier than Quidditch because there are no bludgers or anything to hit you. And the rings are much bigger, too. So even if you're going quickly, they're relatively easy uh, to hit so you can get through all of them and get a lot of speed. Um, if you ever find that you're going too fast, don't be afraid to just let up um, and stop holding A temporarily. Uh, that'll stop you from going so fast. And then just um, make your maneuver right after that. Uh, for some of the later ones, you do have to consistently maintain a good pace. But if you beat Sl but if you beat Slytherin at Quidditch, this is incredibly easy in comparison. So maybe the only the last two um, are a little bit of a, a tight squeeze. So I'm not going to show all of them at normal uh, speed because we have like I don't know 15 or 20 of these races to do and just gets so obnoxious. So after the first couple, I'm just going to speed them up um, so that I can show you just the wizard cards you get from them and not all every single second of racing. Number 22, Sirs. And we've gotten so many life upgrades now. Just look at the bar. It's past the Z. If you want to see how far we've come, um, just look back at the first episode and see where our life bar was then in comparison to the Z on the pause screen. Not the pause screen, but the, um, the item screen. You know what I mean. So I'm going to show here um, these next two races just to show you that the courses are definitely different. Um, sometimes a lot of rings will be really close to each other so it'll be easier and sometimes they'll be spread apart. If one is too far out of the way and you feel like you would just go faster by skipping it, you can do that if you see it's in your advantage. But usually you want to pick them up to get speed. Um, that's really all that's- oh yeah, also the lengths of the courses can vary a lot. I'm not sure if they're randomly generated or not, something tells me that they are, um, but they can't be too random otherwise I'm pretty sure they would crash through the, the towers or something like that. I do know that some of them um, do pass through really cl close to, like that bridge there. Sometimes they'll pass like right through the pillars, so you do have to sometimes be a little bit careful maneuvering. And also, at one point in this video, um, you may see a glitch that can happen, well done, Harry. and that you. is, I think it might happen if um, an opponent crashes into a tower. Waffling. Some really weird thing happens to the broom, and they like spaz out. So if you can one kind of pinpoint that. Race and find where it is, again, well, good for you. Beans. It's definitely interesting to see. So I'll show you this one last race, and then you'll just have to pardon me uh, for speeding this up. I wouldn't do it unless I absolutely knew that it would be incredibly boring and tedious to show you every single one. So I'm just showing you these three as examples of racing, and then the rest is going to be sped up, and you'll see what wizard cards we get, and I'll, I'll list them in the description as well. That way, in case you're really trying to find them all, it'll be easier for you. See, that was a short course right there. You won well, Potter. Have this wizard. All right, after we get this wizard card, Number then the speed will begin. Perpetua and 
enjoy the races, that's really all I can say. Get ready for even more intense races next episode.